Hello folks and welcome back. On this episode we're going to do a basic cleaning and inspection of our Casita Travel Trailers Coleman Air Conditioning. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. On this clean in the specs, we do understand that not all casitas come with the Coleman Mach 8 air conditioner. It doesn't matter though, any of the air conditioners that you have, top cover is going to come off similar to how this one comes off. You still can do a visual inspection of everything on the inside of the air conditioner. Make sure there's no debris or anything inside the air conditioner. And make sure everything's tightened down and, and nothing's loose and that your fan in here is still good. Now, I'm not an air conditioner tech, so I don't have any of the equipment to repair a Freon. So if I have a major problem in here where the Freon's leaking or something along those lines, I would refer the unit to an AC tech to have it repaired. This is just to give you a heads up so we can try to fix a problem before it starts. All right, first thing we're gonna do is you'll see we have four stainless steel bolts up here on the top, one on each corner. We're going to take a screwdriver and take those bolts out. Now that we have the four screws out, we'll go ahead and take the cover off. And it just lifts off. And we'll set it down on the ground. Let's go ahead and talk about the parts in here. The first thing is going to be the compressor, which is this black cylinder. Over next to it is going to be the evaporator fan. This is going to be the condensing coil for the inside. Uh, this is what provides you cold air inside. And this is going to be the evaporator coil on the outside, which is what dissipates the heat out of your trailer. And then in that little box right there is going to be the elect most of your electronics. So what we want to do is check everything, make sure everything is tight, make sure everything's uh, hooked down to the cabinet here. We're going to look around, see if there's any obvious damage. I know it's hard to see on the video, but I can actually see light through these fins. So that's what we're looking here to see if they're dirty. Uh, if you do need to professionally clean these, I would highly advise you setting something to protect your trailer. And this is gonna be your evaporator fan and you just wanna check and make sure that it's operational, nothing's broke on it, and that it spins freely. I'm gonna take my air compressor and I'm gonna blow out the air conditioner on this side. And then once I finish that, I'll go around to the other side. And you'll see I've just blown all the dust out of here. I've blown the dust out of the fins. So let's go ahead and get started on this side, and then we'll go to the other side. Now that we've blown out the other side, let's go around to the pasture side of the trailer and do it. The uh, little silver can you see up here on the right, that's going to be your AC capacitor which is used to start all the motors and compressors in the uh, air conditioner. And that is one of the most common items that goes bad. This motor right here in front is gonna be the uh, evaporator coil motor that's gonna be turning the fan for it. So let's go ahead and blow it out now. You can see how easy the condenser fan turns when I hit it with a little air. And that's what you want to look for. This thing should spin freely. Now that we've finished blowing out both sides of the air conditioning unit, we'll do another quick inspection, make sure that all the wiring looks good and double check to make sure everything's tight and then we'll go ahead and put the top on. Now before you put the top on you need to take Loctite glue which you see here and place it on the threads of the four screws that hold the top on. This is what they did from the factory and it helps keep these screws from vibrating out as you're driving down the roadway. Once you set your cover on top of your air conditioner Take your screws and start the two on this side, and then I'll go ahead and go start the two on the other side. I'm not tightening them up yet until I get all four of them started. 
And as you can see here, I've got all four of them in. I've tightened them down, torqued them down so that they're nice and snug. Well, let's go ahead and go inside now and do the inside. This is what our air conditioning unit looks like on the inside of our casita. Yours may be different depending on the model of air conditioning that you have, but you still have to take this cover off to be able to inspect the air conditioner. Now I've pulled the filters and you'll see that we have upgraded filters and I'll put links down in the description. We like these filters better. They keep it cleaner inside. They also keep the unit cleaner. But those two round holes on the end of each filter, both two on each side, have to be taken out to get the cover off. Now you see I've got the cover off here and these are where those screws are. One on each corner of the unit and two under each filter. And then this white piece right here is going to be a diverter that diverts your uh, air to the front and rear of the trailer when your air conditioning is running. And we're just going to look up in here. First thing we'll do is look up in here where the uh, blower motor is. We're going to spin it, make sure it spins freely. We're going to look at it to make sure there's no damage to it. We're going to check around. We're going to look up inside of the unit to make sure that it's nice and clean. Uh, if we had to, we'd take this diverter off but uh, I can see up in there and see it's clean because I clean mine about every six months. Now one thing you want to be careful of is these four screws right here. You want to make sure they're tight but do not take them out. These are the four screws that hold your air conditioning unit to the top of your trailer. Now once you're happy with the cleanliness of your air conditioner where you're going to put the cover on, you see this little point on the diverter here? it matches a little point on the actual cover. So make sure you put the cover on so the points line up. Once you have the cover up there, start all four screws like you see me doing here. Don't tighten them up till you get all four screws in. And once you get them all started, go back and tighten all of them up. Once you have all the screws in, go ahead and put your filters back in. And then it's just a matter of turning on the air conditioner to make sure that it operates properly. Now when you turn it on, you want to let it run for a few minutes just to make sure it cools down with no problem. And it is blowing out cold air. And that's what you want to feel. Well, we hope this helps you out. If you've got any questions, drop us a line. We'll be glad to try to answer them. Remember, you want to just do a light cleaning and an inspection here. And if you do detect any problems, go ahead and refer it to an air conditioning tech so that you can get it taken care of so you can go out and enjoy your casita like we are supposed to do. With that being said, I want to tell you I appreciate you watching and thank you very much for your support and we'll see you in the campground.